So this is my 1800 watt ZVS uh, induction heater and the setup that I curr am currently using for it and uh, you've seen that in other videos and it's working just fine. I might mention that I did manage to blow this guy up one, once a week or so ago. I blew a MOSFET uh, because I was trying to uh, take frequency data off of one of the gates and I used too low uh, an impedance across that gate circuit and screwed up the uh, wave shape to turn the MOSFET on and fixed it and it works fine. At any rate so now I'm going to upgrade to the 2500 watt unit which is sitting right there and boy they're a lot different aren't they? Uh, I think uh, the uh, 1800 watt has 90 millimeter fans and this guy has 120 millimeter fans but I just want to show you uh, just a quick overview of where I've been so if we take a look at, at everything that's sitting here I started out with this little $10 120 watt 5 to 12 volt unit and I could heat up a nail. And then I went to the 1000 watt unit here and by the way that was what 10 or 12 bucks on eBay. And then I went to this guy and they were around 30 to 40 dollars at the time I was buying them. I think now even with a fan uh, you can get them uh, with a, a fan already installed for about the same price. Uh, and again 30 bucks and then I think this was 70 or 80 or 60 or something like that you can find them all over on eBay 1800 watt unit and then these guys get to be about a hundred bucks although I got this one on some kind of a special I think at AliExpress could have been Banggood uh, for I, I think it was 80 bucks or something like that I, I do want to also point out that in case you hadn't seen my other videos, that I bought a kit here, uh, which included the uh, the 1800 watt heater, this power supply, which is a 48 volt 2900 watt power supply, which by the way separately is a hundred bucks, and I'm really tickled with it so far. Anyway, so it came with the power supply, the 1800 watt heater, this uh, circuit breaker down here, the, this little water pump right here and the uh, tubing, a different tubing and, uh, and, and it came with a coil but the coil was skinnier than this one and I don't know if I'm missing it, oh yeah yeah and the, and the little little tiny buck converter uh, to run the fans and the water pump and that was I think it was on special for 200 bucks just for a short period of time and then of course I've added uh, a few things like the, the meter here with its uh, 75 millivolt shunt and another little circuit board down here just to adapt all the parts together and so on. But the point is that uh, I'm soon going to be replacing the 1800 watt unit with the 2500 watt unit and I'll be reporting on how that goes. Uh, this one uh, also came with a uh, uh, I think a five millimeter tubing coil as did the uh, 1800 watt unit and I upgraded to a quarter inch copper tubing because I'm here in America and that's a standard size and that's what all my other heaters uh, have been using. So, uh, so this uh, I probably won't ever use. I did insulate it with various pieces of uh, insulation that I had left just in case I decide to plug it in there. But as I think I mentioned some in some other video, I extended the uh, connections for the uh, uh, cooling coil for the work coil out so that I didn't have to take the fans off to uh, to get at the coil to replace it. And I'm going to now modify that extension uh, by by actually making it stick out of the the uh, 2500 watt unit a little more than that and it'll be just uh, kind of straight maybe it'll have a little ear on it like this and then I'm going to put a, a piece of right angle copper tube in here so that the water pipes don't have to come out from underneath the board itself that'll make it easier to remove the water pipes if I have to and also keep the water pipes from getting in the way of the cooling fans. 
And then, uh, in addition to all that stuff, the copper tubes will only stick out about that far, and then they'll go to a wall, which will eventually be made out of phenolic with some brass connectors in it. And then on the other side of the wall, there will be valves, like I've done on my 1,000 watt unit, so that I can just turn the valve off, and I'm using compression fittings for all this, by the way. Uh, so I can just turn the valve off, valves off out here to replace a work coil. So we'll see how all that goes over the next few days.